Today I'm going to show you how to make a plastic cup. Today I'll be just a little flick bait, stop jerk bait style, and be a weightless. It's a little worm hook. So all you gotta do is go from there, pinch it. So if you have a piece of like a sinker, a piece of sinker here, then what you do is you pinch it, and you need to go through the hole you made. That's how it works, like that. But if you don't have it, if you if you completely weightless like that, smooth sailing after that. So get back to the original. There we go. All like right, slide it up. up that way and to line it up is where the hook is going to be so where the hook is going to be that's where you got to pinch it so I'll show you And that thing, my friend, is how you wake up a plastic little watermelon cutter. I'll show you another one. Whiteless again. But this one's a bit different. Paddle tail. The actual little, I'm sure you see it, a little guard, little guard step in it. So basically, you can run the hook all through there. Concept will be the same again. Plastic through there. Bust through there. Slide it through. Line it up. Oh shit. Line it up about there. Too far back to just a smidge forward. There you go. Beautiful little redfin plastic up there. Beautiful. So you do is paddle tail, different method now. You can tell it's being bit apart, but it'll still work. I'm trying to show you. So you go from there, to the front. These are simple. This method, this method here deserves a bit different technique. All you gotta do is line it up like that. Once you line it up from there, right, you actually just go, choose the height. As is intended to be a small little hook, so you go a little bit higher towards the top of its back. Slide it back in. As soon as you get back to the curve, you actually poke it out. And then, there you go. Straight. And now it's ready to be used or get chomped off by a tailor or something like that. But yeah, you get the point now. Yeah. So hopefully, you learnt the. Th Type of vegan plastics.